My name is Levon. I live in Suffolk, and I live in a really good community. Um, we have a YMCA down the street, the hospital's right across the street from that, and me and my mom, we kind of started the walking trend in our neighborhood. But we don't have many people else walking. We, re we really, really need, like, maybe a community playground, because we don't have a lot of those. We have a lot of smaller ones, but they don't get used a lot, because they're older, run down, and we could really, really benefit from one of those. Because we have a lot of children that live in our community, and it's good for them to stay active. We're here at the Regent University Summer Theater Camp, and we're talking to teens about how they can better their everyday activities through physical exercises and eating right. Well, in my opinion, I think that you would have to start at a young age and implementing and advocating like better nutritional value in, of things and such, because if you start young, then you can have better eating habits as you grow up. So in, instead of being offered like the cheaper, you know, not so good food, you could, you know, have fruits and veggies so you know better and get used to that. So that's what you want to eat and consume as opposed to what looks better but isn't really good for you. I'm just never really quite sure what to pick. Um, there's, I know there's healthy eating choices out there, but it's always sort of difficult with the choices we're given. As a student uh, fresh out of high school, it's really hard for me to spend the gas money to get to places. And I, I live up way out in the sticks, so it's kind of hard for me to get to places that I need to get. It would be really helpful if we had sidewalks to get places, like if I could walk to the various places I need to get to. Um, or even bike lanes would be a big help because I, lo I love to ride my bike, but um, it's just really dangerous for me to to walk through or uh, even ride my bike to these various places I need to get to. And I think it would just be a really fun exercise for me. I think community gardens would be great and if teenagers could really get into it, I think that would help support the local war movement. Fast food restaurants in Chesapeake are everywhere and it's really tempting to say, okay, well I could stop at McDonald's or Taco Bell or wherever, or I could go home and have a salad that's from my garden but usually we tend to make the unhealthy decision to just go ahead and get fast food. But uh, I believe that if we did have community gardens and maybe a garden in your own backyard, then you'd have more of a desire to just go home and eat healthy. I tried being vegetarian for six months. Um, it was going really good. I was uh, eating a lot healthier. And unfortunately, it was way too expensive to buy organic and vegetarian food. So I had to stop due to cost. Um, as a fresh out of high school, not really having a job, you know, doing some small work for my mom's business, it was really hard to pay for organic and whole foods. So it didn't really work. I'm, I'm not a budgeter. I don't know how to do any of those things. So really, I'm, I'm looking at you guys to really help me find a way to find a cost-efficient um, option to really be able to eat healthy and still not be poor. <laughs> My name is Alice Randall. I am working in collaboration with the Life Enrichment Center. Um, I formed a partnership with Pastor Kevin Turpin um, at Jay Cox Elementary School. I tell you, our students here at the camp, they, number one, they love the camp. They talk about, um, I guess, being able to make better choices. You know, they've learned to make better choices when it comes to schoolwork. Um, when it comes to friendships, when it comes to communication. I'm going to be in Lafayette this year and I'm going to be in sixth grade. We got Burger King down the street and McDonald's and Church's Chicken. A lot of grease get in your system. I'm 10 and I'm going to fifth grade and I'm going to Sparrow Elementary. Some of the food at fast food restaurants have a lot of grease in it, it can make you fat and it can make you sick. I'm 11 and I'm going to Lafayette, Winona. I go to like Jamaican restaurants, eat like jerk chicken and stuff. The value menu, it makes you gain weight and when you don't exercise, you keep good one and more and more. Change trying to stop buying value meals and change the value meals to regular foods like veg vegetables and stuff like that. I'm going to be in the sixth grade. I'll probably end up going to Blair Middle School. Fast food, it can get you fat because they use a lot of fried, fried stuff. It can mess up your intestines. It, it's like a fat, it's like a fat the way your body works. And, it, and, then if, it, and if it work, go, works the wrong way, your body end up having heart problems. Like the restaurants, they need to serve like more healthy foods. Like instead of like a lot of fried chicken, 
like use baked chicken or boiled chicken. They need safer parks. Um, there are no gyms. We would love to have a rec center at Jaycox Elementary School so that our students would be safer than just playing in the parking lots or in the streets because that's why I see a lot of the students in the afternoon when I go home I'm generally telling the kids or if I'm out in the community in the evening doing home visits you know I'm always saying hey you need to go home you know it's not safe um, the kids are always looking for something to do so after they go home they will even come back up to the school can I go inside the gym and play basketball we need more uh, more activities for the students to be engaged in even if the parents can be offered scholarships to attend the Y you know they're close to the Y downtown um, a lot of our parents are saying they can't even afford it even when it comes to the membership that they offer at some of the community rec centers um, the kids our students Anyway, I mean, we go over to the rec center, um, Huntersville being one, and we do community projects as far as cleaning it up. Um, so we would like to see our students be able to go inside the rec center at no cost, you know, provide some type of scholarships to the family so that the kids can get in the rec center and um, have an opportunity to experience what they have to offer there you know, because they offer lots of classes um, that our kids could really benefit from. A lot of kids, they like ride their bikes and their skateboards around. In my neighborhood, the kids need to ride their bikes and their bikes and skateboards in the street, and that's not safe, because they might get hit, because the HRT bus always come through to pick up the people from the bus stop. By the Huntersville Center, he can, like, right beside the tennis court, he can probably, like, uh, like some spook the ground by there because cause the kids, they like to ride on a spool surface because that's why we always ride in the street because the street is real smooth and it doesn't have a lot of bumps. The parts, they are not that safe because men be out there on the play park harass the kids and stuff. They do a lot of drugs out there. I think you could probably like build a fence around it so so no adults can get get inside the playground with the kids because we can go out there and have fun without no adults try to fight and everything around us somebody that i know they got killed at a cellar party out there there's somebody that my mama know though they was real close it's a boy his name christopher i'm going to rough the middle school going to the sixth grade it's like little it's like little because it's not really that much. It's not like swings and stuff. It's just like a one slide and that's it. It would have a swing set. It would have a really big slide and it would have monkey bars and a lot of cool stuff that, oh, oh, rock wall. And that's what my park would be like. A lot of people in my neighborhood they would either be cursing or they would come to the park. They would have guns and be sh they would have guns and shooting and stuff. Well, I usually stay inside when it happens, but when it doesn't happen, I go out. Sometimes I go play basketball, or I go to um, go run. I like basketball. I've been playing it for three years now, and. It's kind of fun because that's really the only thing I do really when I go outside. I go to Lake Teller Middle and I'm going to the sixth grade. I go to the playground and play a lot and sometimes draw a lot of pictures. Sometimes people get in a lot of fights there because some people like from other parks come out there and start trouble. For exercise, I just go to the uh, Booker T track and just start going up and down the steps and running around the track. Yeah, like go to a gym or something so we can have like a little bit of fun and they can have like an open gym for the kids. So we can like at least watch some like some TV or joke around with our friends. Built a place because we had like a big field. So like built somewhere for the kids to go and run around, joke around with our friends without feeling like we're going to get in trouble for doing something. Or at least can we at least make like some type of people out there to watch the kids while we're out there playing. Because sometimes there is people out there to watch you the wrong way.